because I want to leave this guy running. And I'm going to have to build a quarry anyway. And until I get a steady supply of uh, ender eyes, I'm going to need to need a way to uh, keep these areas loaded and quarries unpowered quarries might just be the only way to do it without having to power a world anchor or a mine cart chunk loader thing so in order to build a quarry let me see what I need basic quarry is iron gears gold gears and diamond gears which means I need four gold gears, six diamond gears, six four gold gears, seven iron gears. Okay. So I need some more sticks. That should be enough. So I need seven of these. I need um, seven of these. And I need some more stone. Also going to need eleven diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And ooh, I also need gold. Do I have any gold? That's a real good question. I'm not sure I actually have any gold. Do I have enough gold? Ah, do I have enough gold? Yes. So let me put that there. So, got seven of those. Now I need to have seven iron gears. And I'm out of iron. Damn it. Do you have any in here? Uh, pulverized silver. Pulverized iron. There we go. Let me stick that in there. We'll go grab another bucket of lava. Power this up. I thought I had enough iron. Grab one bucket of lava. I can hear him plunking away down there. Right click on this engine, and there we go. It produces a lot more energy. This this uh, produces 4 MJ per tick, as opposed to the Sterling engine, which I believe only produced 1 or 2. I'm not exactly sure. I think it depends on how how hot it gets. It has to heat up. Once it heats up, it generates more energy. But for now, this is great. Look at this. One bucket of lava. Just keeps it running for quite some time. Let's see how much iron do I got. Mm, come on, just a few more pieces. A few more pieces. Oh, iron. That should be enough. I'll let the rest of that smelt. So one, two. There we go. Stick. I need um, one, two, three of those. And the rest needs to be gold. Two, three, four. Ah, crap. Short three gold. Do I have any gold over here? No. Okay, any gold powder? Damn. Need to pulverize a bit more gold. There we go. Three more gold. Let me stick this in there. Let that finish out. Doo -doo -doo. Waiting for this to finish. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that keeps happening to me. Random eggs will uh, 
Look, there's one now. It's trying uh, to get to me. See, look, there's an egg over there. Chickens lay the eggs, and uh, the magnetism enchant on my armor pulls it towards me, and it comes through the wall. It's kind of weird. Kind of freaked me out the first time it happened. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's the gold. We got the gold. Now, four gold gears, and just need one, two, three, with the diamonds around this to make two gold diamond gears. Okay, two gold gears there, and the iron gears here, here, and here. And we need a diamond pickaxe, which I need a couple pieces of wood for. There and there. Do do. Diamond pick. Ah, oh, keep forgetting this needs a. Needs that. So. Ah, and one redstone at the top. There's our diamond pick. And there's our quarry. Oops, forgot to put it in there. Now that's a basic simple quarry. Basic, simple, awesome quarry. Now, if I'm right, if I just plunk it down right here, does it keep it loaded? I have chat turned off so I can't see system messages. But I think it should keep that area this area loaded, if I'm not mistaken. Or at the very least. Oh crap. <laughs> I dug into my tunnel. Did not think about that. <laughs> Oh well. But yeah, once this guy's inventory fills up, he'll uh, go back to the start area up here and dump everything he has into this chest. Which is why I put this chest right here. When he fills up, he'll come right back to where he was, dump everything he has inside this chest, and then go by right back to where he left off. But yeah, that's I'll just let, let him go, and hopefully, this just plunking down this quarry right here will keep everything nice and loaded. And I can head into the Nether because I am definitely going to need some uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Uh oh. Damn it. Ah. My uh, magmatic engine kind of overheated. This has happened before. Uh, flint and steel. Just what I needed. Just need to whack it with my crescent hammer. Lovely little thing. Just a couple iron and one silver to make it. And it allows me to smack this whenever it overheats and kind of seizes up like that. And this is what I love about these engines. They do not explode. They do not explode. They just seize up and stop when uh they can't produce any when they can't send any more power out of them because this was uh completely filled up on power so it couldn't send any more to it. It just kind of seized up like right there. And all you have to do is walk up to it and smack it with your wrench. But yeah, let me stick this wrench back in here. Now I've got my obsidian, got my flint and steel, I've got some food, I've got a pick to grab some uh, nether brick, which is what I'm going to need for my magma crucible, so I can start building some red power conduits, and hopefully that will stay loaded when I go through it. Now the only question is, where do I put this portal? I do not want to have it too close to my house. 
I think I might stick it over there. Um, one over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it over here. On this little area across the water. Just so I don't have to listen to the sound all the time. And what I was thinking about doing is building a bridge over this water all the way to the villager area over there and having a bridge to it. So this would be a nice little spot to have it. That way I can have a nice little area right here. And I think I might actually build a platform later on. So I'll have it just like that there and there. That way I can build up a platform around it that'll lead into the bridge because it's an idea I had having a bridge coming around right there straight across. That way I don't have to run through all these trees. So yeah, I'm gonna make this portal hop into the nether. I know I'm just using dirt right now. Not the prettiest thing in the world. But I'll come back and make it look better later on. So let's light up this portal and head into the nether. Ooh, crap. <laughs> For those of you who actually watched my last playthrough, my first foray into the nether did not really ooh, crap, did not really go too well. In fact, it went horribly. But this time, look at this. How lucky can you be? There is a nether fortress right here, right next to me. I don't have to go searching for one. I don't have to build some crappy uh, machines I don't really want to build. I can just come right here. There's a friggin' nether fortress right here. I got all the nether brick I want. All the nether brick I need. See if I can get some magma cream out of this. Uh, sadly, no magma cream. But I'm just gonna grab a couple nether brick. In fact, I might grab a bit more than just a couple because you never know what else might need it. But who cares, I can just come right back through the portal and grab all the stuff I need. And this also makes grabbing any um, uh, blaze rods. I have no idea what this is, but um, I've had bad experience with uh, <laughs> nether ore. I don't know if it still does, but it used to explode. It did explode if you uh, mined it up, and sometimes it also aggro the pigmen, so I'm just going to avoid that right now. I really should try and grab some glowstone while I'm here, but uh, I am not seeing any easily accessible glowstone. Let's see if we can find any that's, like, really easy to grab. If we can, we'll try and grab it. Hmm. Let me see, uh, build a bridge over here. A lot easier to get down over here, it looks like. Also need some soul sand. Don't know why I need soul sand, but there's always a chance I will need soul sand, so I'm just going to grab some while I'm here. because you never know what might need it. Especially with all these new mods I've never played with. I don't know what they need, so I'm just gonna grab some extra material just in case. May as well grab some, uh, oops. A bit of lag right there. Ooh, there looks like an easy spot to grab some glowstone. Some down there as well. Here we go. Looks like there is some glowstone right up here. Nice. 
Okay, I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to head back. Maybe grab some netherrack. And I'm going to build my magma crucible. See how long this video has been going. I'm not really sure. I might need to cut it short before I build my magma crucible. And then come back in the next episode. But at least I was able to get some glowstone, which I'm definitely going to need, as well as some uh, some netherrack, some uh, as well as netherrack and that nether brick I needed. Just grab a few bits of netherrack. Don't know how much I'm going to need, or if I'm going to need any at all. So let's head back to the bridge, head back upstairs, head back to the portal, and get out of here. Because I really don't like the nether. It's so annoying. My last trip into the nether, <laughs> I got blasted by gas, 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 no, 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 no. Just like that, screw it, I'm gone. <laughs> Not repeating my last mistake. Okay. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I figured I'd have to run... Ooh! And I just realized, my portal actually linked up with my own portal. That means no one else is nearby me with their own portal. Ah, uh, that is just so nice in and of itself. You, can't, <laughs> you don't know how many times I've had to resituate my entire portal inside the nether because someone else nearby me had also built a nether portal which meant and they were within a thousand blocks on the overworld which meant that when I came back through my when I went through my portal on my side I actually came out on their portal in the nether and then when I stepped back through that portal I came out their portal here on the overworld which could be anywhere within a thousand friggin blocks of me you can imagine how annoying that is when you're uh oh no oh no crap I think he may have either run out of power or he uh unloaded did he did he deload please tell me he did not deload I hope he didn't I hope that uh, Cory kept this chunk loaded. One way to find out. Excavate. 16. No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, crap. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, little guy. No! Crap! I guess he did deload. No! Come back! Come back, you stupid little turtle. Ah, no, no, no. Crap. You gotta... Okay. <laughs> I guess he deloaded. Ah, I guess that uh, chunk loader didn't work exactly like I wanted it to. Because he kind of just stopped his program. And he dug a big thing right under my house. Which I didn't want to happen. I know I missed some ore down there. But, ah oh well. I'll set him up again. Gonna have to repower him again, though. Let me, uh... Let me reset this right here. have him going again. There we go. He's facing the right way. Put down this chest. And the chest is gone. Where'd the chest go? Where did the chest go? Oh no, he ate the chest. Nope. Didn't go in here, did it? 
No, nice glowstone. Ah, crap, where'd the chest go? I lost the chest. Well, I'm gonna have to get another bucket of lava and get him started again. Build another chest, and yeah. But, I think I'm gonna end it there for this episode. It's been going on for quite a bit. So, I'm gonna get him set back up, and then come back in the next episode, build my magma crucible, build the liquid uh, transposer, and start melting down some redstone. And probably building an induction furnace as well, because I'm going to need that in order to build the red power conduits and the red, the red energy, redstone energy cell. So, until next time, this has been Bobson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.